Picture a technology so advanced, it can cut through the hardest stone as easily as carving butter, leaving behind flawlessly smooth, cylindrical holes. Now imagine this technology existed not in our modern world, but thousands of years ago, when mainstream history tells us humans were just figuring out basic metalworking. Today on Documentify TV, we're tackling one of archaeology's most baffling puzzles, the mystery of impossibly precise holes drilled into ancient stonework. From the windswept plains of Bolivia to the jade workshops of Neolithic China, these artifacts challenge everything we thought we knew about prehistoric capabilities. These precisely crafted holes in stone aren't limited to one culture or time period. They're scattered across the globe, each example raising its own set of questions. In Cornwall, England, we find large stone holes dating back to the Great Pyramids era, their purpose and creation method still unknown. China showcases jade discs with perfect central holes, some as old as 5000 BC. These Neolithic artifacts, often discovered with Chinese aristocrats' remains, continue to perplex scientists with their intricate craftsmanship. The mysterious site of Puma Punku in Bolivia boasts incredibly precise stone cutting and drilling, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of ancient engineering. Around the world, stone tools and weapons with drilled holes have been found, some dating back to a mind-boggling 40,000 BC, long before the invention of metal tools. This widespread occurrence hints at either multiple ancient cultures independently developing advanced stone-working techniques or a shared knowledge base that's been lost to time. To grasp the scale of this mystery, we need to understand the technical hurdles involved in creating these holes. It's not just about making the holes. It's the remarkable precision and efficiency with which they were made. Many of these holes are drilled into extremely hard stones, like granite and jade. Jade is notoriously difficult to work with due to its hardness. It comes in two main types, nephrite and jadeite, both presenting significant challenges to ancient craftsmen. The holes often show a level of accuracy that would be challenging to achieve, even with today's technology. Their perfectly round shape and smooth inner surfaces defy simple explanation. Perhaps the most puzzling aspect is the feed rate, the speed at which the drilling tool penetrates the stone. Modern diamond-tipped drills typically advance at a rate of less than ten thousandths of an inch per plunge in hard stone. However, analysis of some ancient holes suggests feed rates of over one inch per plunge, a feat that seems impossible with known ancient technologies. This difference in feed rate challenges our understanding. As one analyst puts it, Imagine your finger is a drill. Picture stabbing that finger 1.2 inches into a slab of stone so hard it breaks diamonds in a single strike. Now imagine pulling it out of the hole and slamming it 2.5 inches in. Now slam it 3.7 inches in. 4.9. Every single strike, that drill dives another inch and a half into the stone. Experts have proposed several theories to explain these remarkable stoneworking achievements. Some researchers suggest that ancient civilizations had highly advanced technologies that have since been lost. These could include sonic drilling techniques, plasma-based cutting tools, or magnetism-based stone softening methods. While intriguing, these theories lack solid archaeological evidence and remain speculative. A controversial theory proposes that some ancient stones weren't quarried, but cast using a form of ancient concrete or geopolymer. If true, holes could have been formed while the material was still soft, explaining the high apparent feed rates. However, mainstream archaeologists don't widely accept this theory. Many archaeologists argue that these achievements can be explained 
by the accumulated knowledge of ancient craftsmen combined with immense patience and skill. Techniques such as using abrasive sand, water, and wooden drills have been shown to create precise holes, albeit very slowly. Some skeptics suggest that the apparent high feed rates might be a misinterpretation of the evidence. They argue that the holes could have been created through multiple stages of work, with only the final stage leaving visible marks. Recent archaeological experiments have shed some light on possible ancient techniques. Experiments using copper tubes with abrasive sand have successfully replicated some types of ancient stone holes. Reconstructions of ancient bow drills have shown surprising efficiency in creating holes in hard stone, though still not matching the apparent speed of some ancient examples. Advanced microscopic analysis of ancient drill holes has revealed subtle patterns that provide clues about the tools and techniques used. The mystery of these ancient holes raises broader questions about our understanding of prehistoric civilizations. How advanced were ancient societies in terms of their technological knowledge? Was there a global network of knowledge transfer in prehistoric times? Have we lost knowledge of certain techniques or technologies that were known to our ancestors? Do these findings challenge our current ideas about the linear progression of human technological development? While we've made significant progress in understanding ancient stoneworking techniques, the full story behind these remarkably precise holes remains elusive. The debate continues between those who see these artifacts as evidence of lost advanced technologies and those who attribute them to the ingenuity and patience of ancient craftsmen. What's clear is that these ancient holes continue to challenge our perceptions of prehistoric capabilities. They serve as a humbling reminder that our ancestors were far more sophisticated than we often give them credit for. As we continue to unravel this mystery, we may need to reconsider our assumptions about the past and remain open to the possibility that there's still much to learn about the ingenuity of our ancient forebears. As one commentator notes, what amazes me is how these folks don't understand how it was done, yet at the same time, because of that they're not open to all possibilities. So, what are your thoughts on this? Did the ancients just have skill and patience, or is there some other tech involved here? Let us know in the comments. Until then, folks, see you in our next video, right here on Documentify TV.